At first glance, there isn't much going on in this small, independent bookstore, yet tucked away beneath these dusty covers is a battle. A battle that the employees at the Brazos bookstore are all too familiar with. So I think it's just a personal preference, and um, here at Brazos we know that you know, e-readers, people are using them a lot. Like movies and music before it, books are now getting the digital treatment. I see the appeal and the use of having an e the usefulness of an e-book. We've had some people say, you know, especially for traveling, I think um, our customers uh, will tell us that, um, you know, when they travel, they don't like to carry around, especially the big hardback books, just because they're heavy. In a world dominated by the digital revolution, print books are surprisingly one of the last bastions that hasn't been completely overrun. A lot of that is attributed to the fact that a lot of people are saying they like the, the feel of the book. And they like the nostalgia that it brings. It's a little bit of a different experience. I think some people like, you know, when you're turning the pages, you can kind of feel how far you've read. You can look at your book and see where the bookmark is and see, like, oh, I've read half of this, I've read a little bit more. So it's kind of subtle things, but I think um, that's important for some people, um, including me, you know, when you read and it's kind of like, an experience and so those little things kind of help out. I've spent a lot of time building my personal library and I like having it there. I don't like, you know, it's it's much better to for me to see all of my books together than being able to just scroll through, you know, a little digital e-reader. I think people always want to say that the books are going to die like very quickly, but they haven't that hasn't happened for us yet. And hopefully it will remain that way. From Brazos Bookstore, I'm Jonathan Hussage reporting for the Art Institute.